Good morning, everyone. I hope everyone had a very restful break uh, and is ready to come back to learn. Um, okay, I do have a word of the day for everyone. And today's word of the day is rickety. Rickety is an adjective. The definition is likely to fall or collapse, shaky, feeble in the joints, in disrepair, irregular, emotion or action. I would not sit on the rickety old chair. And my thought of the day is you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will have the strength. Okay, don't forget that our values matter for September. Our core value is respect. Respect means showing regard for the worth and dignity of someone or something being courteous and polite and judging all people on merits. The Values Matter Challenge for September is to reflect respect. Think about how you show and receive respect at school, at home, and in your community. What does respect look like? What does it feel like? What does it sound like? And there's different activities for elementary school students and secondary. Um, teachers, I sent you the templates for, for both elementary and secondary. Uh, elementary to write how you reflect respect or describe what it feels like. Um, and secondary students, record your actions that reflect, describe, describe the who, what, where, when, and how of your actions. So that is our respect uh, values matter for September. I also sent you um, some more information teachers on respect. Uh, these are the templates. This one is for middle school. And then this is the elementary one. Okay, we do have open house coming up. Uh, this is the middle school flyer for open house. Um, this will be on Tuesday, September 14th. Uh, there is an in-person session from 5 to 6.45, and then the virtuals, and then, and your teachers will be sending this out to you. And then this is for elementary, uh, Thursday, September 9th, grades 1, 3, and 4, and then Monday, September 13th, kindergarten, 2nd, and 5. And the, from five to six is in person and 6.15 to 7.15 is the virtual. I cannot stress this enough. Um, students, you cannot come to open house. This is for only one of your parents, okay? The other parent and you, you can go on Zoom and do it virtually, but the in-person open house, no students allowed. It is only for one of your parents. That's it. If you come to open house, you'll be turned away. It is only, and if there's two parents that come, they'll be turned away too. It is only for one parent. 
that's it to come to open house. Okay, if you have a laptop that is not working, uh, please let your homeroom teacher know. Your homeroom teacher is then going to give me a list of all the students that need to exchange a laptop. They are also going to give me a list of any students that still need a laptop. So, and I will not be in the building today. So this, uh, so please send it to me. And then on Thursday, I can take a look at it. So teachers, please email me a list of students that are having a problem with a laptop and label that. Or if it's a student that needs, still needs a laptop, let me know. Uh, again, I am not in the building today, so please do not send any students to the media center. Don't even send them on Thursday. Give me a list so I have an idea of who needs what. So please email me that information. Uh, um, thank you very much for your cooperation on that. Okay, so I wanna recognize some students that have really helped me so much on Friday. First of all, I had some middle school students that really, really helped me to gather uh, chargers and computers. And I really like to thank these students and recognize them. Uh, Natalia Diaz, Ferrella Lavian, Sadie Harris, Sarah Unimi, Leah Lanlaney, Yasmin Vasquez. Thank you so, so much. You guys were such an amazing amazing help. So I really appreciate that. And I'm going to let Miss L uh, know that too. And Dr. Lee. And um, in the afternoon, uh, it was, the media center was looking pretty bad. Some students really, um, there was things did, were not, did not take care of the media center. So I had three girls at the end of the day without me even asking them to do it. They did this on their own. I didn't, I didn't ask them to do it. They cleaned up the whole media center at the end of the day. Um, and so I want to recognize these three girls uh, from Ms. Maharis's class, Layla Negrenov, Natalia Zarilla, and Leah Avital, these fifth graders. Um, these three girls really helped me a lot. They cleaned up the whole media center. Nobody told them to do it. They did it on their own. And so these fifth graders, I want to recognize them from Ms. Maharis and I really appreciate that. That was such a huge, huge, huge help to me. So thank you so much for that. I hope that everybody has a great day today. Thank you for watching WEXP News. Have fun exploring today.